Hey everybody, I'm Dan Loalbo with Loalbo Enterprises. We're a national distributor of dump truck tarp systems and trailer tarp systems. And today, I wanna to talk about finding the location for your pivot point on your swing arm assembly and then the complete installation of the swing arm assembly. All right, so the first thing we want to do when installing our, our swing arm assembly is find the pivot point location. In order to do that, it's gonna take two tape measures and I'm gonna take one tape measure and I'm gonna secure it to the front of the trailer. This is a trailer in this case. And you can see the front of that tape measure is about two inches up and just a little bit off of the, of the back edge of the um, end plate. And that's a good location for the arm to land when it's in the open position. On the rear of the trailer, I have a second tape measure secured with a vice grip. And that allows, that's gonna be my location where the arm is gonna land on the back of the trailer, which in this case is gonna be right on the top running board uh, on the back side of the trailer. So what I'm gonna do is take these two tape measures, and because I've worked alone most of the time, I have to use the vice grips to secure them. I'm gonna take the two tape measures, and I'm gonna try and find my location where they cross with identical numbers. And in this case, it's about 121 inches, and I want it to be 121 inches at about the center is to my center point. But if I were to come up six inches or so, it would be 117. And if I came down here, it'd be 125. What I'm showing there is it creates a nice plumb line down through regardless of where you are. So if your side rail is higher, it might be a different number. So 121 inches, I'm gonna drop one tape measure, take my marker, mark my center location for the pivot point. Drop my tape measures away. I bring my pivot point into play. I'm gonna put the center of the pivot point on the center of my marker and, and keeping with the center theme, center it on the side rail. In this case, I'm gonna use these, the left and right holes, drill my holes and secure it. We have our pivot point all installed, secured, two half inch bolts going through. Uh, and secured on the back side. So on the this is on the driver's side. So on the passenger side, rather than taking my tape measures and trying to find my center point, I'm simply going to measure off the front of the trailer to the center of the pivot point itself. And in this case, we're about 267 inches, just under 267 inches. I will also take a measurement off the rear to the center so that I can um, double check to make sure my measurements are correct. And then I will mount the pivot point on the passenger side based on those two measurements. Both of our pivot points are installed at this point from the passenger side of the trailer at this point in time. So our next step is to install our arm. I've taken and already installed the springs inside the fork at the, at the base of the arm. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to follow the manufacturer's recommendation on how to install the springs. This is an aero economy easy cover system. Uh, so I followed Arrow's instructions on how to install the springs and my bushings. And my next step is to slide the arm over top of the pivot point with the leg of the spring sliding through the groove in the pivot point. So we have the entire arm assembly installed over the pivot point. Springs are inside, bushings you can see here, and then we, we secured it with a snap ring on the outside. So that arm is on there nice and tight. It's kind of hanging here, but it, as I lift it, I'm getting tension against the springs, and it's going to want to pull itself to the rear as it'll do when it's in operation. The next step is to add our upper section of arm, and in this case, Arrow provides you with one piece upper arm that has a 30 degree bend and then a 90 degree bend. So you have to decide if you want to have a low profile with the arm when it's at the front of the truck or low profile when it's at the rear of the truck. In this case, I tend to lean towards having a low profile at the front. That way when the tarp system is open and you're loading the bed, the arms are lower and they're less likely to get damaged. So that's the installation we're gonna go with. Now that we've decided that the arms can have a low profile at the front of the truck when the tarp is open, I've basically taken the upper arm, slid it inside the lower arm, and I've given it the length that I wanted to, to land based on the measurements we had from our pivot points earlier. So in this case, the arm will land right on the top of the rear board, the back of the trailer. 
The next step will be to do the same on the driver's side, and then we'll connect the arms and install the tarp. We've completed the installation of our lower swing arm, our upper swing arm on both the passenger and driver's side. So the next step was to uh, install our cross tube, and that's the tube that will connect the two arms together at the top. We secured those tubes, and that's the complete installation of your pivot point and swing arm assembly. So again, I'm Dan Lowalbo. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact, contact us at our, at our website at the address below, uh, or call me directly at 757-615-4379. Thanks.